Alright. My name is Jesus Medina. I'm here at Seabreeze Fitness in Coastal Mesa, California. Here with Team War. Today we're going to practice uh, recovery. Recovery from getting rocked. Basically meaning uh, familiarizing ourselves with the feeling of getting rocked when you get punched, kicked, whatever the case may be. You know, you get hit in the face, head, wherever, you get rocked, you don't get knocked out, but you're dazed, a little bit confused or something. This will teach you how to uh, basically um, almost find comfort within that zone still. Meaning, you know, if you get rocked, you're not going to panic or do any wrong moves. You're going to know what it feels like and still be able to keep your guard and still attack back properly. So you don't show any weakness and hopefully it stops that momentum of your attacker uh, capitalizing on that one hit he gave you that rocked you or whatnot. All right, so what we're gonna what we're gonna do is basically get the get the trainee uh, uh, today is Jesse. We're gonna get him a little bit dazed by doing a, 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 a tactic that that we we developed here at, at Team War, uh, which is basically you're gonna stand in your guard, right? Your uh, what we call pop position of power, because right here it's gonna be hard for for any any hit to come in, right? So this is a position of power. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around like this, I'm going to stand in front of him and he's going to be walking around like that, just moving his head around which is, makes him really really dizzy. He's going to be following me around for about 40 seconds or so doing this and then he's going to be really uh, dizzy and then I'm going to start calling around the combination he's going to start throwing him around even though he's really dizzy. You guys should try it, I'm huh? making dizzy already. But that's it, that, that goes out to show you it's going to build familiarization of that rocky feeling of you being dazed or whatnot. After getting punched, if it happens, you'll know what to do and not panic and still be able to uh, uh, recover, you know? Uh, so this is what we call recovery. So go ahead and start spinning with your guard. All right, come to me. All right, so what's gonna happen is he's gonna keep a little bit more distance than normal. This is normal, no stop. This is normal, keep going, you keep going. No, no, you stay here, but keep going. All right, this is about normal distance here. Right, come a little more this way. Yeah, right there. All right, this is about normal distance here. You don't want to be this close when you're rock. So he's going to be about this, this long. But of course, he doesn't want to show that he's rock, so he's going to follow me a little bit, and then go back, and he's moving, getting dates still. All right, there you go, keep following me. There you go, don't show any weakness. All right, and it's about time, so one. One, two. One, two, three. Good, one, two. One. One, two. All right, get rocked again. Go back. So see, we're getting them dizzy and we're making them hit still. Come to me. All right, you gotta tell you gotta tell your trainee to kind of relax and not and not throw powerful punches. Be snappy punches. All right, else he's gonna get too tired. His breath is gonna uh, his right where he's gonna go up and he's gonna lose his breath quick. All right, and ready and two. There you go. One, two. One, four. Good. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two. One, two. Nice. One, two. Good. One, two. One, two, three. Nice. There you go. Good days again. One more time. And we're almost done. All right, since he's getting rocked a lot, meaning uh, getting dizzy, he doesn't have to go for the full three minutes like a normal round. Because we're just trying to make him familiarize and not go through a whole entire round like that, because that's unrealistic. Come to me, come to me, go back, breathe, breathe, breathe. And remind him to breathe, because maybe he might be forgetting. Come to me, get ready, one, four. One, 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 two, three. Good, one, two. Good. One, two, three, two. Oh, you forgot, I forgot to tell you. One, two. One, two. All right. What happened there is I was being realistic. You can relax for a little bit. Get your breath back. I forgot to tell him this is something we worked on yesterday. He wasn't here yesterday, unfortunately. Uh, but I was trying to tell my, my other uh, students that you shouldn't shoot more than three consecutive shots. Because automatically, instinctively, your opponent's gonna shoot back whether he's rocked, blind from being punched or whatnot. They're gonna swing back and they will break your momentum. 
So even if you plan on shooting more than three shots, four, five, six punch combo, you should always uh, break that cycle, not the momentum, but the cycle of punching after the third punch or so. Because after the third punch, they, they will swing back. So meaning, right there, I forgot to tell them, he, uh, said, I said one, two, three, two, which is one, two, three, two, right? But the proper way of doing this, one, two, three, swinging back, coming, uh, swinging around, come back again, and boom. Because you're breaking that cycle of shooting three, uh, you know, four consecutive shots. And this is what it looks like, all right? Come to me real quick, normal. Uh, you're gonna go one, two, three, sway, sway, and then two. All right, go. One, two, three, go. Two. Just like that. Again, one, two, three, go. Two. There you go. So it was the same thing, I just didn't, I forgot to mention that, that even though I don't say, you know, if I, if I do that one, two, three, two, you know, doesn't mean you shouldn't sway. All right, ready? Last one. Get dizzy again. Come to me, come to me. There you go. Go back. Come to me. Side step to the right. There you go, to your left, I mean. All right, ready? One, four, five. Good, one, two. One, two, three, two. Good, hell yeah. One, two, three, two. All right, one, two. Last 10 seconds, go. Uh, that's inside the go. There you go. Fast step, tap, yeah, you're up there, hard. Just win the round. Get those points, get those points. And five. 